And um, oh, t- uh, so fur face has had a terrible start. Uh, and McGranty is taking the lead, going to turn one. Then from Goldman's uh, well, foot off, is going to have a contact. Uh, but there's a very tight turn. Well, that's contact. That's a McLaren face the wrong way. Then remember in 2002. Oh my goodness me! Oh, so you can see that. There's how are they? How? Oh goodness! And um, you can see that. Uh, who's up? Mr. Elite is facing the wrong way. It's like, oh, look at the look at the rain all over the camera at the moment. Yes, this is a borderline wet wear of tires, isn't it? They're doing a great job. Uh, Jonathan has dropped down the third position. Then Jonathan has dropped down the third. Emerson doing a good job there. Passing and moving up into um, second position there. So uh, Emerson then he's away then. And uh, can he? he need, he's got a three second deficit at the moment. Then. And um, he's got a three, def- he's got a three second deficit at the moment. Then. Over his championship rival. Granty then. He's got a bit of blue sky. Remember that there, there is expect- we're expected to have a dry period in this race later on. It's oh, it's, uh, it's four face. He's gone off the track there. He's damaged the car. And uh, oh, he's uh, just drove straight into the wall again. Then the um, the uh, uh, the uh, uh, oh goodness me then what is going on here? It's um oh Mr. Lee and Mike they're battling away then as um as uh, Furface is trying to get himself back on track at the moment. He's he's, dry, he's uh, down in twenty position. He's got damage to his wing as well. Far shots had the fast side of the race and, as um, now uh, Mike is trying to go on the inside, but Mr. Lee is having that but Mr. Lee is drifting right then. Mike is going to go up and under beautifully done there from Mike then. Look at lights and lights in that Sam and a battling away then and uh, lights are giving um Sam much more room than what a first half and did to Leclerc, didn't he? Now then, it's a drag race going down into turn three. Then lights is at three, or is he? No, because Sam has got some pace on. He's down. Has he got down? So he has it. Um, it's just the way that. Oh, look at this! There's all lights there. Um, giving a bit of an effort, giving up as well. But Sam is uh, back through. I think, or is he? Lights is. I uh, got the inside. Then Sam is going to go on the inside. They're coming into turn four. Oh goodness me! And um, lights has some momentum there. He's through, and uh, uh, he's through and up into the position. There. Sam dropped down to top position there as well. Now he's um, going up the inside. He's going up into turn number three. He's up the inside. Jonathan there. It's um, oh, get a speed it. As uh, Vessi's over the third position there. Now, has he got the pace then to get after Emerson? Emerson's the second in front of the moment. Lovely shot here. Oh, and even better shot there from Vessi. It's Jonathan going to have a look. Go down at turn three. We're on board. He's the line up for a move then, but Jonathan thinks better off it and um, stays as it is for now. Then. But look, it's Murphy there still. You see a flashing bit of blue there in the background. That is the Toro Rosso team. And that is Murphy at the moment in the highest t- Toro Rosso as well. Uh, Mr. Elite and Mike just cannot leave each other. Oh, and no, no, Mike's back on the inside. Fantastic then. And um, Mr. Lee then trying to buy, trying to just uh, see who's got the momentum on the outside. Mike is still in front then. Mike is still in 14 position. Good stuff indeed then. And um, Mr. Lee is 15 for the moment. Of course, Mr. Lee was in the top 10, wasn't he? But unfortunately, in the race, it's not gone too well at all. Then has it. Far shot is, uh, is uh, up two positions. He's in 18 position at the moment as wow. Well. Let's take a look at this. And Jonathan and uh, Jonathan and Nigel and John Nigel's back for it. And Mike then is also the Fender from Steve as well. And they're very close going over to the grid action as well. So is um so is Nigel. They're going to be in contact. There's been pretty slight amount of contact. Steve is in front of Mike then. Uh, but I think that uh, Mike is usually very quick on the on the run up. Oh goodness me, they're so close together. Jonathan and Mike. Nigel's going to go on the outside. Nigel's on the outside. Jonathan is having none of it. And he stays in full position. Well, and Nigel's still hanging out. We're on board. Look left. There is Jonathan. And Jonathan still remains there in a full position. Well, but that is um that is helping. Because look at this. Murphy's on the back of this one. I said it's a very light rain now as well. The track of this is again bare and bare as each lap goes on there. Oh, that was great racing, wasn't it? And now, um, no, oh, look at Jonathan! Jonathan's off! Jonathan's off! He's on the grass there! Um, he was starting to get the power down and he has lost. He's down into sixth position then. Oh, no, Jonathan now. Figures tight. Intermediate tires are struggling then. And, um, yeah, this is where you probably want to come in the pitch, but he can't come in the pitch just yet because, um, I, I think that they're just waiting for the rain to stop. Has the rain stopped? No, there's still a sprinkling. There's still a light sprinkling up there. And, um, He's on the soft tires, Grant. He's Grant. He's on the soft tires. It's our perfect. Uh, it's our perfect strategy call. Well, they're all coming the pits. And Jonathan's coming the pits. Well, I usually wait for DRS. Uh, but remember, um, Grant has done this before us. He's been absolutely fantastic. Vesey leads. So Grant coming out of the pits now. And uh, Emerson's back in. Emerson's back in. He needs to get his car as soon as possible. Oh dear, oh dear. Vesey's gone. I think that this might be a lot too much. Then we're on board. Then with Grant. Then as um, I think he is absolutely just to, per- to conditions. To absolute perfection. Then and uh, where is that uh, Vesey? Vesey's coming out of the pits. And Nigel, Nigel is on the outside. Nigel's got the momentum. Nigel's through. He's up into him. Um, and I think um, Furface on the wet tires. And, and Murphy's having a full fist. He's in front of Emerson. 
God, oh goodness me! <laughs> now this is going to get very feisty indeed. Vessi in fourth position there. Murphy, um, sorry, v oh, there's, um, there's, uh, yeah, Vessi in third position. Murphy in fourth, uh, Emerson in fifth. Emerson is losing a mighty amount of points. He only gets 10 points, doesn't he? So he's losing 15 points at the moment. And uh, Twang is now in front of, um, in front of Young Lights. Or is he? Or is he? Is he coming to the help? Oh, coming to the first half. Oh, shot's like the fast half of the race as well. Emerson's got up the inside there. Oh, but, um, it's, uh, it's Murphy. Uh, Murphy gets all the way there. And, uh, Emerson is through. And Matt's got a five second penalty as well. It's not going too at all. No retirements in this race yet. There's a Ferrari in the background. I think that is just B. That is not far from the moment. Far from Twang. And it's looking at Emerson going off the inside. It's a far fair. Still on the, uh, still on the track there. And look at the background. Young Lace is also very keen on this one as well. Far is through. And back of an eighth position as well. Young Lace is going to, oh, it's Twang going to send it. He's sending it down the inside of Twang. Um, that was a great move there from Fred Twang there. I thought he was going to shoot that. Not at all then. A uh, Ricardo S move there from the, uh, from the, uh, from the Renault Drive. Brilliant 17. Fire shot's got by his teammate. And Fire shot is on his way. He's on the soft tires. But his teammate trying to come back at him in the battle for 30 and 40 position. Well, then it's Fire shot. Oh, goodness me. Steve goes on the outside. Fire shot. Oh, goodness me. They're getting very close for comfort. This is, oh, my goodness me. They had history last season, didn't they? And, um, oh, wow. And Steve, they're not doing it. It's a fantastic race. And I'm loving it. Fire shot on the soft tires there. And, of course, there's no team orders in the house. Oh, Steve. I know. My goodness me. That as a far shot. Goodness me. Just steaming in there. Steaming in. And uh, getting up into a 14th, um, 13th position. Well, man, trying is flying out there. He's on the soft tires. He's doing a good job out there. Roscoe is trying to. Uh, oh, goodness me. And now Farf is also all over the back as well. Farf wants a piece, doesn't he? Roscoe. I mean, once again, I think he's on two fantastic races. And um, Farf there is. Uh, I think Roscoe is trying to close the door. But Farf is already alongside him. And oh, goodness me. Roscoe's touched. He's touched him. Um, he's touched Twang. He has damaged the car. He's damaged the car. He went in too deep there. And uh, that is a shame. His twine got damaged as well. I don't think Twine has because it did hit him on the wrong part of the car to get damaged. It's a Twine. And uh, Twine, in, uh, Twine has now dropped down two positions down in the last couple of laps. The medium tires runners. Oh, his um, medium tire runners are really starting there too. Um, oh, Twine going on the outside. He's got to go wide, is he? No, he had not Oh, Twine there. i got to say, this is more the older self of Twine at the moment. And he's doing a fantastic job out there, isn't he? Some bold moves. Some great pace as well. I'm loving this from Twine. Of course, he's had a very difficult season, hasn't he? Um, this season, because uh, so, I was, uh, I think when when he and Dan was named in the Renault, they were, I thought they was a fantastic pair. And unfortunately, it hasn't come to it hasn't come to fruition this season, has it? And you see then, as um, I think Vesley might be just too far in front of him. As uh, Kelly says, um, as uh, Kelly says, uh, just taking a quick look. Um, uh, uh, Ghost, uh, Justin Ghost makes the track safer for everyone. <laughs> oh no! Everson is off the track. Everson's got off it. As I was looking to see what was going on then. And that, oh dear, oh dear, Emerson is having, a, is having a bit of a difficult day out there, isn't he? As I was looking down to see the comments, I'm just going to have a quick look down to see what was occurring then. As uh, we was on board of Emerson, wasn't he? And um, let me just take a look then. As, um, was, oh yeah, he came in way too deep there, didn't he? And that has cost Emerson a couple more positions there, hasn't he? He's really stood. This is not a good day at all, Emerson. It? Uh, it's a great day for the championship leader. Not a good, not a good day for the championship contenders, is it? It's Steve! Steve has gone into someone and it's, um, it's Steve winning the Alpha Romeo. Is it? It's Jonathan! Jonathan has had a problem with that coming into the pits and oh dear, dear he's damaged the car! Jonathan has damaged the car and he's in the pits and he was on a um, he oh dear oh dear Jonathan in the pits slowing down once again his bad luck seems to continue in this season. What a shame now for Jonathan he's in the pits he's got to chase of those cones he was gonna to go to the end of the race I think on those medium tires that is not gonna happen anymore he's on the soft tires Farf has got a um, um, he's got a uh, he's got a fussing penalty for ignoring yellow flags there who's gonna take uh, oh I'm wondering if Grant is going to take this opportunity, then he, this is a golden opportunity. It's all for is a place for the championship leader. He's in the pits now, then. Grant is in the pits, and of course, you don't lose as much time, do you? Because you are only, because um, you're not, um, you're not restricted by the virtual safety car. You're only restricted, and DR has been able to back race, and so he kind of, uh, so um, he didn't get all the benefits there, but he's in the pits, and the Williams mechanics are out and ready to go, then. The two racing points are covering the final turn now, then. And um, so the uh, race, uh, so the Williams are going, and, and look at that, this is the Alpha Romeo comes out. Jonathan is in the points then, but he's going to be right. He's going to be very quick there. Grant to come out of the pits. And where's the race of points? The race. He's going to go out in front. I think. Is he? Is he? No, I think that. So he just had enough. He just had enough. Then, but look at this. So Grant he needs to get on it quite quickly there, doesn't he? He's gone out in front, and that's an incredible race. Incredible driving here from Grant State. But um, I've got to say, then it's been absolutely fantastic. Pit lane drama into the pits there. As uh, Vesey's in the pits. Vesey is in. The
in the pits, so he's coming in the pits, and they're rolling the dice, and is there any damage on that uh, racing point, we're on board now, and well, this might be just to try to see if we can get some extra points, there is um, no damage there, but he's on the soft tyres, this is helping Young Lights, this is helping Farf as well, Emerson also in the pits as well, he's dropping down the order, uh, Farf is now, the, uh, Young Lights is now in the fourth position, Far from the fifth position, Vezzi and Emerson um, rolling the dice, and uh, they are now dropped down into sixth and seventh position now, Nigel is front, Murphy is free, he passes Nigel, Nigel's trying to come back, Alan, Murphy has been fantastic, hasn't he? And uh, it's been very impressive stuff today from Dan, hasn't it? He is um, biding his time, hasn't he? He um, no um, no spectacular lunges, no nothing. He has been calculated, hasn't he? Uh, very much. Um very much a uh, very much a Nicky a Nicky Lauder esque uh, drive today, hasn't he? Very, and then hitting his home track of Austria, brilliant stuff indeed. There, right there is um, trying to go up the inside. There, isn't he? he feels he feels Vesley there, doesn't he? In the background as well. Granty is uh, starting another lap. Then he's he's incredible, isn't he? Uh, Granty is then in on um, these on lap thirty five. First six, Phil and Lights is going to the inside. Oh, we're going to see it. Farf is not going to fall, and um, Vesley there um, touching the rear end of oh, Lights and Farf's got the inside though, hasn't he? And um, there's Emerson in the background as well, but uh, Light, uh, Vesey would like to get through, won't he? He feels that there's at least four positions on the table. He won't get any further than that then. With um, Nigel nine seconds away from this battle then. Emerson is gaining, 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 but Light there is also gaining on fire. Light has gone up the inside. We're going to free a breast, going up into the hairpin. Not quite. And uh, Light are all going to speed in for very much for Stafford. And um, the Claris. Farf has gone three second penalty. That hurts. Uh, that uh, hurts for Farf. And um, that is a shame. There was, uh, not, it might be a bit too robust their problem for Ramson. And now when Fensley going up the inside, Farf is up the inside as well. And um, I'm just seeing where Grant is. Grant is coming up to the final stage. Then Farf is back on the fifth position then. I wonder if that, um, where that uh, fight second penalty might to hurt then. Grant is coming through to win his seventh race of the season. Absolutely fantastic stuff from Grant. What a race win today. Let's take a final look at the final classification then from the Austrian Grand Prix. Grant there won for from pole position to check a flag then. Second position was Murphy and then Brian Drive. Third position was Nigel Lights in fourth. Uh, fifth position was Emerson. Sixth was Vesley. Fourth, seventh, Mumford. Brilliant drive from 19th to 8th there. Well done. Jonathan in 9th position and Twang in 10th position. Fire shot, Brandon, Mr. Elite, Sam, uh, Mike, um, Steve, Just Be, and uh, Furface um, all finish the race. Uh, Roscoe and Matt, the only two retirements from this uh, incredible Austrian Grand Prix. Absolutely fantastic stuff.